Where's the baby bleeding from? Where's the baby bleeding from? Y'all need to get here. Our big story tonight is certainly heartbreaking. A seven month old baby boy is killed by a family pit bull. Our Nicole Grigg did some digging and found this isn't the first violent incident in the dog's past. Nicole. Alexandra, tonight I uncover this isn't the first time this pit bull has attacked. We talked to a woman who says that the same dog attacked a beagle while on a walk just over a month ago. A grandmother is assisted back inside the home where her seven month old grandson she was watching was killed by the family pet pit bull. Family needs prayer right now. Tonight we're learning this isn't the first attack. This is Isabel Crickmore and her beagle Reba. Right here is where it was shaved. It's grown in pretty good. She had three lacerations and 11 staples. Reba was reportedly bitten by the same pit bull at the same house on June 3rd. There is now a criminal misdemeanor complaint against the grandmother for that attack. And court documents show a pretrial for Isabel's complaint was just postponed last Thursday. She was supposed to go back this previous week, this last week, um, for second pretrial, and I don't know if she didn't show up or what circumstances allowed for a second continuance. When I saw that, it just blew me away. And now, three days later, homicide detectives are trying to figure out what exactly happened inside the Riverside Avenue home. Information from other family members, I have been told that the dog had been uh, a pleasant animal for the family, family dog and pet. But a police report and court documents tell a different story. Isabel now wishing the system was quicker and that it did more back on June 3rd. It just, it really irks me because this could have been taken care of, um, especially since there was a prior report on this dog for an attack. The coroner's office tells us they aren't releasing the baby's name until the morning, but family indicated at the scene the baby is from out of state. It's unclear if the grandmother will face any charges. Reporting live in the studio, Nicole Grigg, ABC 22 News.